Hi guys. Okay, so we are going to be doing our September setup. Um, and my September theme, I'm wanting to go with a relaxing theme. Um, so for our setup, I have these stickers from Planning with Kay that are plants and books and coffee cups and things like that. Um, and then I also have a couple of sheets from uh, Mornkunst, which like I said, I may be saying that wrong because I think it's German, but she also had some really pretty plants and hanging plants and some um, like bookish, you know, school, school study themed items as well. Most people I know in the world go back to school in September. I actually have been, we have been back in school since the students, since August 4th. As a teacher, I think I've been back since July 26th, I think. In Georgia, we start super, super early. Um, we are all virtual. And August is always the most stressful month of the year for me. It's like crazy as a itinerant teacher of students with visual impairments. I feel like I am everywhere at once, putting out lots and lots of fires. And I feel like it feels even more chaotic being virtual. I feel like every teacher feels like they are a first year teacher and it's just been, it's been crazy. It's been chaotic. Um, so we are setting up September a week before September starts. Um, today is August 23rd, I think, Sunday, August 23rd. Um, and so because September, um, August was so crazy and chaotic, I really wanted to go with a calming, relaxing kind of theme for September. And actually me and my husband are going on a vacation, believe it or not, at the end of September. But we are just going to a cabin in North Georgia. Um, the company we booked the cabin with have, um, have a, assured us, you know, that they're taking the cleanliness and sanitation measures very, very seriously. Um, so we feel comfortable going to a cabin and the things that we'll be doing will be socially distanced types of things. We'll be staying mostly in the cabin, enjoying the view, the expanse. We live in a small 700 square foot apartment in Atlanta without even, we don't even have a balcony. Um, so um, we need to enjoy the outdoors and just breathe. Um, so we get a fall break at the end of September in my school district. So me and my husband are going to be going on a little vacation to the North Georgia mountains. So I want September to be a month of relaxation. So I have these stickers, like I said, from Planning with Kay um, that are all like plants and books and coffee. And then for the weekly spreads, I'll go ahead and give you guys a preview. Um, I did decide to do a, another Harry Potter theme for the first week of September because hello, September 1st um, is the return to Hogwarts. And I really liked this kit from Glam Planner, Glam Planner because it kind of goes with the color scheme that I'm going for with the greens and the blues and the tans and the browns um so it still kind of goes with that calming effect so that will be the first week and then i also have this back to school kit from creating and co that i really liked and then i have this live more worry less um mini kit from cheerful planner girl um, and then I also have this kit from Sweet Kawaii Design that is all about being calm. You can do anything, but not everything. Don't stress, let's break up. Take a deep breath, everything will be okay. Relax, refresh, recharge, and it's all plants and everything. So I felt like all four of these kits really worked for the theme for the month of September to be calming. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into setting up for September. So when I was thinking about what scenes I wanted to incorporate for the month of September, um, I thought about a few things. I thought about maybe a desk in front of a window, and then I thought maybe about a window seat. But in the end, I settled on this front porch scene, um, which kind of reminds me of my grandmother's house as a little girl, as well as my um, childhood home with a front porch. Being in an urban area in a small apartment, 
um, we don't have advantage of a outdoor space. Um, so I like to think about outdoor spaces. Um, and when I think about something that's relaxing, um, a nice front porch scene definitely um, takes me there. And now that I've sketched out the scene with my pencil, I am going to go back in with my Marvy Le Pen, the black one, to go over my penciled lines.
And now I'm going in with Crayola Super Tip Markers. I have a dark brown a and a light brown um, for the rails and the porch and the steps. If you decide to do your own version of this calming, relaxing outdoor spread for your bullet journal, then I would love for you to tag me at Savvy Charmed Life. I would love to see your recreations and maybe I'll feature them in one of my weekly videos. And this greenish gray color that I found um, is supposed to kind of mimic the color um, that my grandmother's house when I was a little girl was. So now I'm going to be drawing a bush that's gonna be out next to this house. Um, so I'm just testing out the different greens to find the perfect green for the bush. Um, and I'm gonna use a blue and a green Crayola Super Tip marker for this. Um, and this is supposed to be a blue hydrangea bush, which is what my grandmother had out in front of her house when I was a little girl. Um, and so I'm not really being precise. I'm just using little squiggles for the bush. And then the flowers for the hydrangea is just little blue dots. So like I said, it's not supposed to be precise. Um, it's just supposed to be like you're looking at far away. Um, and it's, you know, just... Uh, the illusion that there is a, a flowering bush there. And now that the coloring is done, we are going to get out the stickers from the um, Planning with K kit. And I'm gonna choose two hanging plants to hang from the ceiling of the porch. Um, and then I'm also gonna choose two potted plants to put on either side of the porch. Um, and then uh, I'm also going to use my, or continue using as I have with the July and August, my month stickers from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And it's just been perfect that each month um, the sticker color for that month has matched perfectly with the color scheme for that particular month. Thank you. 
Now we are going to move on to my monthly overview page. Um, so I'm going to continue using the Planning with K stickers. So I'm just going to choose one of her, um, uh, I guess, header type of stickers. I'm going to put it across the bottom. Um, and then I'm also going to start using um, her uh, column of numbers. I can't remember what she calls them on her sticker sheet. Um, but I normally write my numbers out down the center of the page. But instead, I am going to use the sticker for it. I actually love watching Planning with Kay on YouTube, but I have found during this planning session some frustration with her stickers. Um, it did take a very, very, very long time for her stickers to arrive. Um, and then apparently they're not the best quality, and I feel horrible saying that because, like I said, I absolutely adore her channel. I love watching her plan with me. Um, but her stickers don't appear to be the best quality. They tore quite a bit. Um, and every time you tried to, there was like several sheets where when you tried to pull the sticker off, the backing came with it and you had to like, I had to get tweezers out and you'll see me several times throughout this planning session and where I'm having to get tweezers to like peel the extra backing off. So, um, the quality of the stickers were not as high as I had expected. Um, I still think they are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. They are hand drawn by her. They are originals. Um, but the quality of the sticker paper that she uses, um, is not top notch. So as you can see, I also went in and put one of these blank, um, month stickers and I'm just using that as like an overview of like the actual, like, you know, typical standard monthly overview. I don't know. And I also went in with the green Crayola Super Tip to write down the left hand side of the numbers, what the days of the week are. And then I'm going to go in with two more hanging plants. These I believe are from the other sticker sheet. Um, and I'm just going to put them on the top right and left corners. I'm also digging into my personal sticker collection to find a uh, Instagram sticker and a YouTube sticker um, that I can include in this spread to track my subscriber and follower growth. Now we are moving on to my master to-do list page and I'm going to put another one of those header stickers um, on the top um, and I'm going to just write in with my uh, brush pen master to-do and then I'm going to use these little flag stickers um, and pair them with cute little coffee mugs um, to put in work, personal, and then I'm also adding a YouTube um, specific to-do list um, which I just felt like there was a need for the last time when I was doing my August master to-do and then I'm just gonna add some additional decorative elements on the bottom of the page as well
And moving on to the last page in this spread, this is my, um, I don't even know what to call it. I'm going to put the notes and ideas sticker on this header at the bottom, um, but it's just where I list what I'm reading, um, things that I need to buy for the month, um, what YouTube videos I post, and then I'm also just going to, I didn't really use, um, I can't even remember what the other one was, but I didn't even use one of the sections from last month, so this month I'm just going to have like a and ideas like where I jot down, ooh, I really want to do blank um, section. And for these flags, I decided to layer them with these other stickers. So for reading, I'm using a stack of books. And then for YouTube, I'm gonna use this laptop. And then I'm gonna use this list looking um, sheet um, for the shopping um, section. And then I'm gonna use the notebook for the ideas section. So that is all for our theme for September. I am in love with this spread and I'm really hoping it gives me those calming and relaxing vibes like I was hoping for. If you loved this spread, then please hit that like button. It would mean the world to me. And if you love videos like this, if you love playing with me's, setups, flip throughs, hauls, then please, I would love to welcome you to the Savvy Charm Life family. So hit that subscribe button as well. I can't wait to share with you all of the weekly spreads for this month. So see you next time. Bye.